good morning students <coughs> let us uh, continue the module 1 in this video we are going to discuss the four uh, five topics organization of files hidden files home directory path variables manipulating your path variable so very small small topics uh, these are so let us see the first is organization of files so in unix all the file uh, will be uh, organized that we are going to study in this uh, topic so see uh, as we know that in unix operating system all the data will be stored in the file so all the files like millions of files will be there in the unix operating system so all the millions of files are, will be organized in a proper way in a hierarchy way so let us see how they are organized all data in unix is organized into files as we know that all data will be present in either one or other file so all files are organized into directory so uh, all the files will be present in one or other directory like uh, data will be present in the file and files will be present in the directories these directories are organized into a tree like structure called the file system so we can see in the next slide so here tree like of a structure all these files are organized so uh, files in unix system uh, so these are called file system <coughs> files in unix system are organized into multi level hierarchy structure known as directory tree this is also called the directory tree because at uh, different level they are organized in a hierarchy way. so this is the first level then second level, then third level, fourth level, fifth level. Now, at the very top of the file system is a directory called root, which is represented by a front slash. So here, a root directory will be there. Very first, that is the top. Next, all other files are descendant of root and all the other files will be descendant of the root directory so front slash it is a character alone denotes the root of the file system that is called root directory then hash uh, front slash bin you can see that uh, here where is the front slash bin yes bin is here then uh, here one bin is there you can see the bin one here and another bin is here so we are talking about uh, this slash b this directory so slash b stands for binaries and contains certain fundamental util utilities such as ls or cp so these commands files ls and cp will be present in this slash bin this is also called the binary directory which are generally needed by the users all the users they need these type of commands or files then boot front slash boot under the uh, for uh, root direct boot is another file which contains all the files that are required for successful booting of process then dev it is called also device directory it stands for devices and contains file representation of peripheral devices and pseudo device then etc so contains system wide configuration files so some uh, configuration files will be present in this directory and system databases originally all contained dangerous maintenance utility such as init uh, but these have typically been moved to sbin or elsewhere so some uh, some uh, that uh, files which are database system database related or system configuration related on some dangerous maintenance utility files will be present in the etc directory then root home it contains the home directory for the users because every user has to is will be present in some or other directory so it so this home uh, it contains the di all the uh, directories in which users can stay next one next topic which we have to study is hidden files what is hidden file a hidden file in unix or linux is simply one that has a dot as the first character of its name so like uh, uh, 
hidden files will not be shown in generally on the uh, terminal so but they will be starting with the dot character so in the search button if you put a dot start then those files can be displayed so this applies to directories since they are fundamentally files too so since these are also files so they will be uh, this file this applies to directory so they are will be applied to directories also because they are files as well as direct in fact such a thing is not really very hidden the ls command simply does not show it by default ls command which is used uh, which is uh, used to display all the uh, files present in the uh, current directory but ls command by default it will not show the hidden files so if you want to see all the files along with the hidden we should uh, type the command ls minus a or files or ls minus d it will display all the hidden directories next topic which we are going to study is the home directory a home directory as i as we discussed that every user present in uh, working in the unix operating system must be present in some or other uh, uh, directory or so the directory in which user is present that is called the home directory so a home directory is a file system direct directory on multi user operating system containing files for a given user of the system so it contains the files in which the user will be present the specifics of the home directory such as its name and location are defined by the operating system involved so the specification of the home directory will be defined by the operating system a uh, user's home directory is intended to contain that user's files including text document music pictures or video so in home directory of user what all things will be there user's file will be there a text a document will be there music pictures videos everything will be there it may also include their configuration files of preferred settings for any software they have used there and might have tailored to their liking so in that in the user's home directory configuration file also be present or a browser bookmark will be there desktop wallpaper theme password everything can be present the user can install executable software in this directory uh, but it will only be available to users with permission to this directory so even executable executable software can also be uh, put up into this home directory but it will be executed only with a proper permission the home directory can be organized further with the use of sub directory in the home directory sub directory can also be there now for example let us say in unix a user will be automatically placed into their home directory upon login once a user login in unix operating system automatically uh, a, he will be placed in the home directory for example uh, home default path to the user's home directory if you, uh, home is a variable which contains the default path of the home directory for example if you place here echo dollar home means that uh, a home directory it will display the home directory of the current user who has logged so it's a home directory is Uh, root home home so this is, is showing the home directory for the current user now next one is the path variable so this variable contains a call uh, caller and separated list of directory in which your system looks for executable files so if we echo dollar path then it will contain some files uh, separated by the uh, column okay so it will have a list of files separated by the column so here user lib light dm light dm column again user local sb so it contains a lot of uh, uh, paths in which uh, different users can be uh, like in which uh, different commands can be present so when you enter a command on terminal 